Thank you, Bill. Uh, Wilmer Hale's record of pro bono service is an inspiration to us all, and your partners indeed have much to be proud of. You carry forward John Pickering's vision and tradition, and you do it with great distinction. On behalf of my colleagues at Hunton and Williams, I am deeply honored that our firm has been chosen to receive the 2009 John H. Pickering Pro Bono Award. Let me add a special thank you to the Pro Bono Institute. They are a small institution charged with a very big mission, and that's to make us better lawyers and better people. The Hunton and Williams Partnership Agreement, the document that serves and has long served as our charter, begins with the following words. The practice of law is a service to society. While an aid to business, it is concerned also with the public welfare. Those two sentences would be nice, but totally empty words were not for the people who bring this commitment to life every day in each office. So this award honors people like George Hetrick, the partner in charge of our pro bono efforts. No one, no one has done more than George to bring our pro bono commitment to life. For over 20 years, he has worked tirelessly, tirelessly to make certain that every Hunton lawyer has the opportunity and the resources to serve those in need. George, you are George, you are in so many ways the lawyer who we all aspired to be when we decided to enter this profession. Above all, this honor recognizes the hundreds of Hunton and Williams lawyers who have dedicated tens of thousands of hours to serving others on a pro bono basis. As the other speakers have noted, and as I will do now, noting the obvious, these are tough times. This recession has brought turmoil and uncertainty of the sort not experienced by American households and businesses in a very long time our profession has not been spared. The economic crisis has hit particularly hard the segment of our profession represented by many of you gathered here tonight, and that is the largest law firms in America. Venerable law firms, many founded in the 19th century, face challenges never before experienced in their history. To survive, many law firms had to make painful choices around hiring, and firing. Salaries were frozen or cut. Every expense was put under a microscope. And some of these great and old firms did not survive. In short, the illusion that the legal profession remained largely immune from the real pain caused by recessions is no more. And that illusion disappeared just about overnight. Now, it might have been understandable if our profession had stepped back a bit from pro bono over the past couple of years. After all, we had a lot of important and mission-critical issues to address. But we, the largest law firms in America, did not step back. We realized that our challenges pale in comparison to those faced every single day by the poor, the sick, and the hungry. Rather than step back, we all recommitted ourselves to being a force for good in our communities. At Hunton and Millions, that recommitment meant that we issued the following challenge to ourselves. Every Hunton lawyers in, in the U.S. would do pro bono work in 2008, regardless of whether you were a bankruptcy lawyer annualizing 2,500 hours or an M&A lawyer annualizing something south of that. I had to say that, Jerry. Our lawyers met the challenge. In 2008, 99% of our lawyers, that's all but nine lawyers in the firm, participated in pro bono, and over 220 donated more than 100 hours to pro bono work. 
and we are very proud of that, of that level of commitment. But Hunton is not alone in this commitment to service. Every law firm and every corporation gathered here tonight can tell us stories about their lawyers continuing to serve the poor, the weak, and the defenseless amid this turmoil and amid real uncertainty around the people who were doing the work's own jobs. And that is what makes our profession good and noble and different. So I'll close by returning to the words of our partnership agreement. The practice of law is a service to society, while in aid to business, it is concerned also with the public welfare. While those words might frame the Hunton and Williams partnership agreement, I think that we can all stipulate and agree that the commitment described therein is one shared by every law firm and corporation represented in this room, in good times and in not so good times. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, our program will resume after dinner. Please enjoy your meal.